Hello, Falcon Nation. I hope you're staying dry on this uh, gray Tuesday. Just a little bit of information I want to share with you. Our second semester here at Monroe County High School is off to a great start. Uh, we've been very fortunate not to be hit with a lot of sickness and we've not had any weather. So we've been able to keep our momentum in our classrooms and we're getting geared up for testing season. So I just wanted to share a few things with you. Uh, we do have, um, gonna fill you in on a little bit, uh, remind you of our morning procedures. Uh, morning drop-offs, uh, anytime after 7.15, our buses start unloading at 7.15. We do have some kids that get dropped off pretty early and there's always somebody here to greet them and check them. Uh, you can drop off in the back until 8.30. And then after 8.30, uh, if you're bringing your student to school and you're a little late and it's after 8.30, you do need to drop them off at the front and they'll be checked and go through the metal detector just like all students do. We do have some ASVAB testing coming up, and this is a voluntary. Any student who would be interested in taking the ASVAB test, uh, please make sure you see Miss uh, Miss Holland or Miss Crow. That is not a test. It's not. It's not going to guarantee that you're going to be drafted into the military. It's nothing like that. You don't have to be interested in the military to take it. It is just a, a good test, and it gives us a lot of information about you, but definitely if you are interested in the military, uh, any grade level, please see Ms. Crow or Ms. Holland. That will be given here on February the 11th. It, it will be given during the school day. It is free, so take advantage of that and make sure you see those ladies if you're interested. February the 20th will be the junior uh, test day for their last full length CERT test, and that is the program that we use for ACT practice. It's very important that they use that enrichment time to keep practicing for that. The data that we have uh, tells us that if students do their practice uh, in their study hall, that their scores will go up anywhere from two to six points. And that is a significant gain for students that are gonna need that ACT. Uh, we encourage them to use that uh, program anytime, not just during enrichment, they have access to that anytime. So the 20th of February, they will take that last full length CERT and that will hopefully help prepare them for the ACT and see where they're at. February the 26th and 27th, our sophomores and juniors will be involved in some field testing. And I know that um, they've had field tests before in the past and those are tests that are designed to uh, prepare for a new test that's coming out that the state is gonna issue. And that's just an opportunity for them to practice that test. Uh, it is all online. So there'll be some opportunities for them to kind of practice that and get used to that module that they will use. Uh, the sophomores will test in reading and math and the juniors will test in on-demand writing. So those are field tests and those are coming up February 26th and 27th. Uh, attendance is very important on those days. They will be pulled for makeups if they're not here. So it's very important that students try to make sure that they're here on those days. Uh, we will do some pre-registration. We will meet with all classes, uh, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors on the 28th of February. And that will be to help prepare them for classes that they will take next year. And I know that that can be very confusing, especially when we get into talking about dual credit opportunities and those dual credit opportunities are tied to those colleges and they all have a little bit different requirements. But it's real important that if students are interested in that dual credit, that they have conversations with their teachers and they have conversations with the counselors here uh, in order to get the correct answers because depending on the university that dual credit is through, depending on whether that dual credit is offered by a teacher, you know, through a teacher in our building, offered online or offered at the ATC, all of those requirements might be a little different and we don't really have control over that. That's up to the colleges. So it's real important to ask the, the, ask the questions that are specific to you and we, we do our very best to help students and direct them in the way that we need to go and the way that they need to go. So I appreciate you uh, watching our video and hopefully we can do this more often. Thank you.